Hi and welcome to the Seller Center app tutorial. Today we're going to go through some of the Seller Center app features. So there are five different things that we want to take you through. Firstly is the Message Center. Here you will notice that you can look at system notices, product notices, order notices and reply to buyer Q&A. The second one that you're looking at here is product management. Here you will find how to do product creation, product overview, product editing such as for stock and for price. And the third one here is under order management. Here you will see what order overviews are, how to do order cancellation and ready to ship and also printing of invoices. And the fourth one here is under data dashboard. Here you will see how to view business performance data. Also you can track them by days, weeks or months. Lastly, we will cover seller management which also looks into account creation and seller profile settings. So the first page that you will see here is the home page. Once you've downloaded this app, um, you will see to-do list where you can check new seller tasks. When you click this, you will be able to see what to-dos that you must complete. For example, here in this example, you can see upload tasks and then product task and training task. Now, in seller management, there will be four things that you'll be able to do. The first one is seller onboarding, and then seller sign-in and logging out. Also, in case if you've forgotten your password, you're able to retrieve that via the seller management. And you can also check under seller settings. So if you look at it, in the first picture here, you can see under me, you will see the seller's ID and then the shop name and also seller account, general information. And below that, you would see notifications, language, tutorial, Lazada University, feedback and the about link. And at the bottom here, you would be able to log out. So what's inside your seller account? So once you click seller account, what you see here in the center diagram here is your first name followed by your last name, your email address, then followed by your phone number and the name which you choose to display. Okay, usually this is the shop name. And if you're on holiday mode, you need to also include the dates that you'd be away. And at the very bottom, there is the change of password. Now in the last diagram here, you would see general information. So here you would cover things from business information, shop information, banking account, customer care, and even warehouse address. Now we have a look at the message center. Now messaging, uh, message center basically works like you can check your seller buyer Q and A's, system notices, product notices, and even order notices. In the first diagram here, you can see under the Q&A message here, 17, yes. So if you click that in the second diagram here, you can see all the uh, Q&As that have actually come in and that you'd actually need to answer or reply back to them, okay. And in the last diagram here, the order has been cancelled, okay. So you can actually see and check the messages alongside the order notifications. Now for product creation and management, here you can check product creation, product overview, product edit of the stock or price even. So here you can see the product name, for example, here Jasmine's phone, and the brand is 2K Games, and then you click next, which then goes into the next uh, diagram which you will be able to see in whether you want to submit the product. So upon the submission of its product, it goes through a QC or quality check process before it actually goes live. So if it is yes, then you click submit. And if it's not, then you just click not yet. That easy. So in the last column here, you can see products. This is allowing you to see all the live products and also the rejected products. And if you click on the all tab, you'll be able to see all the products that you've uploaded. 
order management basically is an order overview. You can manage order cancellation, you can even do ready to ship plus printing, and um, you can even print out stock checklists as you can see here printing invoices, printing shipping labels, and even print carrier manifest. Okay, and at the bottom, of course, you can cancel and exit as well. And if you look at the last diagram here, you can also see the order details of what you have just created. Now we look at data dashboard. So data dashboard basically covers the business performance data and also shows the seller rating. So here you can see in your dashboard the number of orders that you would have that would be pending and so on. And you can also check for revenues and also the traffic and items sold as well. So we want you to start downloading the Lazada Seller Center app immediately, right? Start managing your business on the go. This is now available for App Store and Google Play Store, okay? Thank you very much.